Hello, good morning, and welcome to the School 3 News. It is Monday, June 22nd. Three more days left this week, and we are done with the school year. Boys and girls, down to the countdown. Down to the wire. It's the final countdown. Yeah, three more days. Make sure if you haven't done your IXL diagnostic, finish it up. Do all of your teacher's work in the Google Classrooms. And don't forget art, music, library, gym, Spanish, health, and fifth and sixth grade, instrumental music. Now, on to the news. And now, this day in history. This day in history, 2001, the very first Fast and the Furious debuts in theaters. This franchise now has 14 movies in total, grossing $207.3 million for all of its movies. Not too shabby for a race car action movie. Pretty cool. This day in history, 1944, President Franklin Roosevelt signs the GI Bill. This was a historic bill which gave returning soldiers money to pay for tuition, books, housing, and supplies and materials to go to college. This transformed American universities before the bill about 10 to 15 percent of young people were able to go to college it was looked as something that the privileged were only able to do by 1947 nearly half of all college students were veterans it gave them the opportunity to get an education after serving our country not too shabby it is National Chocolate Eclair Day. These things are yummy. If you've never had a chocolate eclair, today is the day. Do it. Another food national day today. One of my personal favorites, National Onion Ring Day. OMG, onion rings are so good. I don't think I've ever had a bad onion ring little tip if you buy those frozen onion rings like from ShopRite put them in an air fryer they come out delicious yum 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 love me some onion rings it is gonna be another gorgeous day today 89 degrees mostly sunny they say a chance of rain here and there I don't know I don't believe these weather people anymore so enjoy the beautiful weather. It's summer. Enjoy it. 89 degrees. In sports, 40 Major League Baseball players or staff members tested positive for COVID-19. This is seen as giving the players and the owners a sense of urgency to have a season this season because runners and players can get together and come up with a solution so that we can have some sports on TV. And as some of you may know, the NBA is set to return on July 30th in Orlando, Florida. Please, we need some sports. My Knicks, unfortunately, are not invited as they were not one of the top 16 teams or actually top 22 teams uh, in the league um, to qualify to be invited to Orlando. However, it should be pretty interesting. So we will keep looking to see whether or not this actually happens, but it looks like July 30th, as of right now, the NBA will return. And that wraps it up for this edition of the School 3 News. Stay safe. And stay classy, Belleville.